So WordPress makes it easy to edit any part of your website, but if you're trying to edit more than one or two things, it can quickly get tedious. Every time you want to edit a post, say a title tag, you have to click edit, wait for it to load, replace the text, replace, and in our case, this example is going to use title tags in Yoast SEO. You have to go through, paste it, and if you have all your data in a spreadsheet, this can be a lot of copy paste, copy paste. There's a better way. And that better way is basically to export the database that has all of your content to a spreadsheet and then use the spreadsheet to make the changes and then upload it in bulk. And that's what we're going to do here. Now, to export the content, we need to get it directly from the WordPress database so that we can have the post ID. If you hover over edit, over any of your poster pages, you'll see a number. So post equals a number and that's the post ID. The same goes for category and tags. They have a tag ID, category ID. Category ID. And that's gonna be the key that we're going to use to override a lot of this. And to be able to get your export in a CSV file, you just go to your cPanel or your hosting backend, go to PHP My Admin, and once you're in PHP admin, find your website's database and go down to WP Posts. All right, and once you have WP Post loaded up, this will allow us to edit the post content and post title. If you want to see just the title tags or something that, say, Yoast added in, you can also look at the post meta table but for now we're going to get the WP post because all we really need is this post ID and we're going to connect this post ID to what we're going to end up changing so either way you'll go up to export and you'll do a quick or a custom export method so that you can choose the CSV option and you want to make sure that you check this box to put column names in the first row. You can leave every, everything else as default. Hit go. It will export. And you'll get a nice little CSV file that you can open up in Excel or Google Docs or your favorite export of choice. And you'll see that things are a little bit messy. And from here on out, you'll basically use your Excel skills to filter, copy, paste, delete, clean up the spreadsheet until you are left with the post ID that you'll see right here. The post title you can leave in place just to make sure you can see what post you're editing. The post type, so post or page, and then whatever you are wanting to edit. And one thing that you can do quickly is to add a filter to all of the headings and go ahead and filter by post status because you'll see this includes everything from your database, not just the ones that are published. You see like this has auto draft, this has inherited from another post. So you, you can go through and just delete all these rows. You can delete everything that's in the trash. You can delete any of the pages that you don't want to edit along with any of the columns that you don't want to edit. And I'll go ahead and show you the finished product in the next screen. All right, but either way, once you finish cleaning it up, this is the goal. You want to have a post ID column. You need to keep the post type column. So the one that says post or page, post or page, and you'll need to have the post title just so that you, you know, can match up what you're working with from your other spreadsheet with all your data. And then in our case, we want to be able to edit the title tag in the Yoast SEO plugin. And this has the database field of underscore Yoast underscore WP SEO underscore title. And so if we're looking at our keyword map, we'll basically match up all these titles right here. And since we don't really need to overwrite the actual title of the post or the headlines, once we're ready to upload, we can go ahead and delete this column so that all you're left with is the post ID, the post type, and the 
SEO title. And so I'm going to just edit some of these so that it ends up my home the best. And we're going to change this to worst, worst, worst post. All right, and then we're going to save this as a CSV. Now, keep in mind that Microsoft Excel doesn't save true Excel files. It adds in a lot of different things that PHP can't process. So we're going to have to go over to our LibreOffice and open up the file that we just saved in LibreOffice and we need to have a few standards set and if you notice the plugin when you have the plugin loaded up it'll tell you what these requirements are so under tools import CSV it says that you have to have UTF-8 as the character set you have to use the field delimiter as a comma and you have to quote all the text cells all right so we have all that set and we're quoting the fields as text Hit OK and then you just have to resave this as whatever file you want as a text CSV alright now we can go to our website go and choose the file that you want to upload upload file and import Processing done, all done. Now we can go and check our work. And remember, we edited the title tags, not the title of the post. Scroll down. Oh, and we have worst, worst, worst post. Exactly what we uploaded. So you can imagine if you have, you know, 100 pages or even I, I've done this with 10,000 pages and you want to upload all these different title tags that you've custom written in a spreadsheet. This can be extremely useful. You know, if you've done a brand change and you need to be able to just swap out your old brand for your new brand, you can do that all in a spreadsheet and upload it in bulk. So I hope this was useful and I'll see you.